Hello, I'm Scotty. Hey, I'm Melinda, and we are Simple Life Big Adventures. Today, we're exploring Warren Dunes mm -hmm. State Park. Yeah, in Sawyer, Michigan. The big attraction here at Warren Dunes State Park are hiking the dunes, camping, uh, swimming in Lake Michigan. Yeah. Uh, just standing here looking at Lake Michigan. Uh, walking along <laughs> three miles of beach yep. here at Warren Dunes State yep. Park and viewing beautiful sunsets oh, yeah. here on Lake Michigan. Hmm, the dune starts now. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the way we came down, yes. right there. Yes. Mount Randall is what we climbed. We are staying here at the Warren Dunes State Park Campground. And from the campground, you've got three options to get over to the beach. First is by vehicle. It's a couple mile drive to uh, by vehicle. You can also go by bicycle, which is the same route as taking your vehicle. Now, there's five huge parking lots there at the uh, beach. But I imagine during peak season, they do fill up pretty quickly. As far as bicycles go, uh, I didn't see any bicycle racks. So I don't know what you do with your bicycle once you do get to the beach. The third option is to hike. <laughs> and to hike from the campground to the beach, you've got to climb over the sand dune, which requires you to climb up this huge hill and then back down once you get to the beach. Uh, it is a challenge because we did do it. We did do it the other day, and um, by the time you climb over the sand dune and then come back, you're very exa exhausted. <laughs> did I say show out or show them? <laughs> the trail to the campground will bring you to this side of the dune and giving you access to this beautiful beach. Okay guys, for the first two days we were here, first day and a half we were here, it was rainy and cloudy, but today, Tuesday, August 9th, is a beautiful day, and all of these folks are taking advantage of Lake Michigan. You know, Michigan, you have to get out when it's warm and enjoy it before the snow gets here. What are you gonna do? Well, there's some swimming, there's to do some stand up paddle boarding, some snorkeling, <laughs> and probably walk along the beach during the sunset because the sun will be setting in that direction right there yeah. on the other side of the lake. Won't it be beautiful? Thank you. One of the Great Lakes, one of my favorite things to do is to walk out to the sandbar. It's usually about a hundred yards out. It gets pretty deep before you can make it to the sandbar. But once you get to the sandbar, it's often only waist deep or so. Wow, look at all those waves! <laughs> <laughs> it's a little rough today. All right, we're about to hit the sandbar. Now, Lake Michigan is one of the most dangerous Great Lakes. For some weird reason, a lot of people drown out here on this lake. That's something to do with the rip current. So you always have to use caution when you're out here on Lake Michigan. And always use the buddy system. Because these rip currents here are pretty dangerous. But if you use caution and you know, then you'll be a whole lot safer while you're out here.
So the water is perfect, but once you get out, the wind makes it pretty chilly. But it doesn't take too long to, to get comfortable again once you lay out in the sun a little bit. I think we covered it earlier, but there are four huge parking areas here at the beach. We're filling up pretty good here for August the 9th. We're in the farthest parking lot. And we're just gonna walk up the sidewalk here across all four parking lots and show you everything that they have to offer on the beach. Oh, I didn't point it out, but right, right down here, they do have um, kayak and paddleboard rentals. They have big bathrooms in each end, on each end of the parking lots. All right, nice big bathrooms in there. Place to rinse your feet when you come out of the sand. Uh, there's too many folks in there to show you the bathroom, so we'll just move on. Uh, they have food vendors on the beach. We've got Hernandez ice cream here. Now this is the 2022 season. I'm not sure if this is who is here all the time, but it's who is here today. Oh, I should have got some money from Scotty. <laughs> okay, so while you can ride your bicycles to the beach from the campground, they're not allowed on the beach. So make sure you bring your cables and locks. Tie them up up here. All kinds of folks out enjoying the beach today. It's a beautiful day in Sawyer, Michigan. All right, we've got a taco stand. Ooh, more ice cream. I see a theme here. More ice cream. Another bathroom. And then the state park gift shop. Let's go take a glance. Okay, anything you need for a beach day, they got it in the store. Here across the parking lot is Tower Hill. We're gonna be hitting that later this afternoon. fifth and final parking area have another bathhouse here or bathrooms and a food vendor here so you got three bathrooms along five parking areas and three or four food vendors they've got it covered and I don't know if you can see but off in the distance right over there Chicago. It's 
Skyline of Chicago. So we got double red flags here out here, out, out here on the beach and um, you ain't supposed to be swimming at all. So there's zero chances of me <laughs> taking my paddleboard out today. I'm so excited about this. But you know, as soon as we got here, the waves looked uh -huh. really rough and I thought, uh, it's probably not safe. And we had yellow flags at that point, but since then, double red flags have come up. But I have sat here and relaxed and enjoyed my time here on the beach, laying have, on my paddleboard. We have still <laughs> loved it. It's a gorgeous day on Lake Michigan Beach. We just hope that eventually the beaches will open up. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll relax here a little longer and see what happens. All right, guys, this sand dune behind us is probably the biggest sand dune here at Warren State Park, Warren Dune State Park. And we're going to attempt to climb it and then we'll show you the beautiful view once we get to the top. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at all of them. We hope you found this video entertaining. If you did, give us a thumbs up and feel free to leave questions and comments. Mm -hmm. And we sure would appreciate you subscribing to the channel to show you the next beautiful destination.